All right, sixth grade students, here is the third story in the unit one, grade six reading test for Journeys Reading. I'm going to read the story. You can go ahead and pause at any time to annotate in the margins. I'm not going to go over the questions with you, but I will read the story. Everything you wanted to know about pencils. <clears throat> The story of pencils begins about 500 years ago in the Cumberland Hills of England. One day, after a violent storm, a group of shepherds went out to check their sheep. Several trees had blown over, exposing a gray-black glistening substance. Like coal, it quickly stained their fingers, but unlike coal, it would not burn. They did, however, discover that the new substance was excellent for marking the sheep. They called the substance black lead. Eventually, someone developed a holder for black lead. A piece of wood was hollowed out and a piece of black lead was placed inside. The wood could then be scraped away as the writing material was used. Later, people started using a different method to make pencils. Two pieces of planed and smoothed wood were glued around a narrow stick of black lead. This technique is still used today. About the same time, a Swedish chemist learned that black lead, like its upscale cousin, the diamond, was a form of carbon. He renamed black lead graphite, which comes from a Greek word meaning to write. In the early 19th century, most pencils sold in the United States were imported from Europe. Soon, however, pencil factories started to open. Early pencils were unpainted, to show off their high quality wood. Most pencils were made from Eastern red cedar, a strong splinter resistant wood that grows in the Eastern United States. As more and more pencils were made and sold, competition became strong and advertising became essential. The biggest and best pencil makers painted their pencils yellow to show that they used Chinese graphite, the finest in the world. In China, yellow is the color of royalty and respect. So pencil makers chose yellow for their high quality products. Today, 75% of the pencils sold in the United States are yellow. Today's pencils are made with more than just graphite. Graphite is combined with clay and inserted into a wood casing. This combination will probably be used throughout the next centuries. Now we have some pencil facts, and they are, most pencils are hexagonal, which is comfortable to hold, and it means the pencils won't roll off their desks. Pencils work in space because they do not use gravity, unlike most pens. Most US pencils have erasers, but most European pencils do not. A typical pencil can write 45,000 words. A typical pencil can draw a line 35 miles long. Pencils are labeled according to the hardness of their graphite. In the United States, a number two is medium, which is preferred during standardized tests. All right.